Confirmation is one of the seven sacraments of the Catholic Church. It is the one of the three sacraments of initiation into the Catholic Church, the other two being baptism and Holy Communion. According to Catholic doctrine, the sacrament of confirmation enables the faithful to be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, strengthening them in their Christian life. Topic description. Topic. The Catechism of the Catholic Church states. Recall then that you have received the spiritual seal, the spirit of wisdom and understanding and courage, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence, the spirit of holy fear in God's presence. Guard what you have received. God our Father has marked you with his sign, Christ the Lord has confirmed you and has placed his pledge, the Spirit, in your heart. The Catechism of the Catholic Church sees as a scriptural basis for confirmation as a sacrament distinct from baptism the account in the Acts of the Apostles 8.14–17 Now when the Apostles, who were in Jerusalem, had heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent unto them Peter and John. Who, when they were come down, prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For he was not as yet come upon any of them, but they were only baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid their hands upon them, and they received the Holy Spirit. <inaudible> Western Church In the Latin Church i.e. Western Catholic Church, the sacrament is to be conferred on the faithful at about the age of discretion generally taken to be about seven, unless the Episcopal Conference has decided on a different age, or there is danger of death or, in the judgment of the minister, a grave reason suggests otherwise. Even in those countries where the Episcopal Conference has set a later age as normal, a bishop may not refuse to confer the sacrament on younger children who request it, provided they are baptized, have the use of reason, are suitably instructed and are properly disposed and able to renew the baptismal promises letter of the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments published in its 1999 Bulletin, pages 537–540. The sacrament is customarily conferred only on people old enough to understand it, and the ordinary minister of confirmation is a bishop. Only for a serious reason may the diocesan bishop delegate a priest to administer the sacrament canon 884 of the Code of Canon Law. However, a priest may confer the sacrament when he baptizes someone who is no longer an infant or admits a person already baptized to full communion with the Catholic Church, or if the person adult or child to be confirmed is in danger of death canon 883. Priests typically administer the sacrament during the Easter Vigil Mass to adults becoming members of the Catholic Church. It is the conclusion of the Rite of Christian Initiation of Adults program. Priests customarily ask for and are granted permission for this occasion, Canon 882 to 888. Topic Age. Topic In the early Church, through the Middle Ages, confirmation was closely linked with baptism, and it was often performed on infants before their first birthday. But in some churches, the minimal age of ten years comes into play. Like baptism, confirmation was an act for which the parents were held responsible. Two synods held in England during the 13th century differed over whether confirmation had to be administered within one year after birth, or within three years. Confirmation became a much more important rite when concerns about understanding and faith grew, in particular following the Reformation. After the Fourth Lateran Council, communion, which continued to be given only after confirmation, was to be administered only on reaching the age of reason. Some time after the 13th century, the age of confirmation and communion began to be delayed further, from 7, to 12 and to 15. The 1917 Code of Canon Law, while recommending that confirmation be delayed until about seven years of age, allowed it be given at an earlier age. Only on 30 June 1932 was official permission given to change the traditional order of the three sacraments of Christian initiation. The Sacred Congregation for the Sacraments then allowed, where necessary, that confirmation be administered after First Holy Communion. This novelty, originally seen as exceptional, became more and more the accepted practice. Thus, in the mid 20th century, confirmation began to be seen as an occasion for professing personal commitment to the faith on the part of someone approaching adulthood. However, the Catechism of the Catholic Church, 1308 warns, 
Although confirmation is sometimes called the sacrament of Christian maturity, we must not confuse adult faith with the adult age of natural growth, nor forget that the baptismal grace is a grace of free, unmerited election and does not need ratification to become effective. On the canonical age for confirmation in the Latin or Western Catholic Church, the present 1983 Code of Canon Law, which maintains unaltered the rule in the 1917 Code, specifies that the sacrament is to be conferred on the faithful at about the age of discretion generally taken to be about seven, unless the Episcopal Conference has decided on a different age, or there is a danger of death or, in the judgment of the minister, a grave reason suggests otherwise Canon 891 of the Code of Canon Law. The Code prescribes the age of discretion also for the sacraments of penance and First Holy Communion. Since the Second Vatican Council, the setting of a later age, e.g., mid teens in the United States, early teens in Ireland and Britain, has been abandoned in some places in favor of restoring the traditional order of the three sacraments of Christian initiation. Even where a later age has been set, a bishop may not refuse to confer the sacrament on younger children who request it, provided they are baptized, have the use of reason, are suitably instructed and are properly disposed and able to renew the baptismal promises letter of the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments published in its 1999 Bulletin, pages 537–540. Topic. Although confirmation is sometimes called the «sacrament of Christian maturity», we must not confuse adult faith with the adult age of natural growth, nor forget that the baptismal grace is a grace of free, unmerited election and does not need «ratification» to become effective. St. Thomas Aquinas reminds us of this, age of body does not determine age of soul. Even in childhood man can attain spiritual maturity, as the Book of Wisdom says, for old age is not honored for length of time, or measured by number of years. Many children, through the strength of the Holy Spirit they have received, have bravely fought for Christ even to the shedding of their blood. Catechism of the Catholic Church hash 1308 The «soldier of Christ» imagery, remains valid but is downplayed if seen as part of the once common idea of confirmation as a «sacrament of maturity» was used as far back as 350, by St. Cyril of Jerusalem. In this connection, the touch on the cheek that the bishop gave while saying, Pax tecum, peace be with you, to the person he had just confirmed was interpreted in the Roman pontifical as a slap, a reminder to be brave in spreading and defending the faith. Deigned leviter eum in maxilla cadet, decens, pax tecum. Then he strikes him lightly on the cheek, saying, Peace be with you, cf., the knightly custom of the accolade. When, in application of the Second Vatican Council's Constitution on the Sacred Liturgy, the Confirmation Rite was revised in 1971, mention of this gesture was omitted. However, the French and Italian translations, indication that the bishop should accompany the words, "'Peace be with you' with "'a friendly gesture' French text or "'the sign of peace' Italian text, explicitly allow a gesture such as the touch on the cheek, to which they restore its original meaning. This is in accord with the introduction to the Rite of Confirmation, 17, which indicates that the Episcopal Conference may decide, "...to introduce a different manner for the minister to give the sign of peace after the anointing, either to each individual or to all the newly confirmed together." See also Sacraments of Initiation Seven Gifts of the Holy Spirit Parish Register References External links The Rite of Confirmation Resource Site 1285–1321 Catechism of the Catholic Church